I have never driven or been driven in a Lamborghini before. And I'm not embarrassed to say it. I mean, I feel like not that many people have been in a Lamborghini. But I am an SUV girl. In fact, I drive a minivan. To be more specific, it's a 2008 Toyota Sienna minivan. Let's just say she's on her last leg. I have about 150,000 miles on her, and every now and then we've got to take a little trip to the mechanic. I know she's on her last leg, but I'm just waiting till the end end until I have to get a new car. Because hey, if she's not fully broken, why get a new one? <laughs> Sadly, the electric car doors both did break, the trunk still works, and now she's got a little leak in the front seat, so I'm getting a feeling it's inching closer and closer now. So my husband said to me, What's up? What kind of car do you want to get next? And I said, a minivan. <laughs> I mean, what other car would I want? And he's like laughing at me. Why do you have to get a minivan? And it's not that I don't like change. Well, I don't love change. I like what I know. I love my minivan. She's treated me well. And she's perfect for cake deliveries or going camping. I want a big car that I can fill up with stuff and take wherever I want to go. And even though right now it's just me and my husband Gil, one day we want to have a family. And kids are perfect for minivans. <laughs> I should say, minivans are perfect for kids. But yes, I love my minivan and I love SUVs. So, when I got this order for a Lamborghini Urus Cake, which is a SUV Lamborghini, I was like, oh, I can do this even though I haven't been in a Lamborghini before. This is an SUV! I know them well. <laughs> my name's Melissa and I'm an artist. I create cakes, sculptures, and a lot of other cool things. I've seen a lot of Lamborghini cakes before. Lamborghinis are super cool sports cars, oh, yeah. and people like to get them replicated as cakes. So when I received an order for a Lamborghini cake, I was actually excited that it was a Lamborghini Urus, which is an SUV, just because I'd rather create something new rather than something that's been done a lot of times before. Little did I know, it was going to be quite the challenge. I haven't really made a lot of car cakes before, and I knew that they take time, but I don't think I really fully understood how much time these cakes take. There is so, so much detail and all those lines on the cars, specific shape, the specific coloring, so many little compartments on the outside, the front, the back. Oh my gosh, let's just say I didn't give myself enough time for this one. <laughs> but I pulled through and I think I did a good job making this Lamborghini Urus come to life as cake but I'll let you decide. Let's make this cake. Now, a regular Lamborghini is so low to the ground, you don't even need a structural support really to make it lift it up because it's so low, you can just kind of manipulate the sides of it to make it look like it's raised a little bit. But with the Urus, I needed to give it a little bit of structure to raise up those tires so it looks like it's actually standing. So I built a piece of wood that was standing up with four pieces of threaded rods where the tires are going to be, and this way the cake looks like it's floated. Before I assembled the cake, I covered the baseboard and the bottom of the car in black fondant. That way, I don't have to worry about those later. It will be really hard to cover that cake base once the car is already on there and in place. So I do it in advance and then I'll just protect it with some plastic wrap while I'm working. This cake was made out of an absolutely delicious pistachio cake filled with white chocolate buttercream and lemon buttercream. One of my favorite combos. And I love that the pistachio cake is naturally green from the pistachios. It looks super beautiful and tastes so delicious. If you love pistachios, of course. I made sure to take my time and carve out the exact shape of the urus in cake. So when it's time to add on the modeling chocolate, I could just put a thin layer all the way around and just add detail, but have the shape already made in cake. I look at actual pictures of the car, but also of blueprints of the car, because that gives me a really nice outline of the shape of the car without any detail in my way, in, my, in the way of my eyes, so I can really focus in and get that exact shape. And you'll see it pretty quickly, it goes from block of cake to a car. It's super cool, just happening right before your eyes. Give little indents around where the tires are going to be, so that way there'll be a separation between the car and the tire to make it super realistic. As always, I was going for realism here. Realistic miniature model of a Lamborghini Urus in cake. Eh, easy, easy, not complicated at all. Oh my God, no sleep. <laughs> 25 hours later. Uh, okay, maybe not that easy. <laughs> I pre-cut all of the windows out of modeling chocolate from templates I made and set those aside and then I'll come back to them when I'm ready to add them onto the cake. 
I roll out a big piece of blue modeling chocolate, which is going to cover the whole car. This is a blue Lamborghini. This color is lighter than the actual car. I'm gonna go in and paint it a navy blue later once I've sculpted the whole thing. And what's great about the modeling chocolate is it gives me time and time is what I need. I need time on my side. Unlike fondant, which dries out really fast, the modeling chocolate will stay moldable for many hours so I can keep working and keep manipulating it as I go without worrying about it cracking or drying out as I'm going. And now the not so fun part, but fun part because I love sculpting part begins. <laughs> and that is adding all of those lines. Lines, 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 lines. So many lines on this car. And I make sure to really focus in on all of those little details because that's what I'm gonna bring out all of that realism. Once I know where all the doors are going to be, I know where the windows are going to go. So I can cut out those sections and replace them with those black pieces of windows that I cut earlier. And now the car is just starting to get there. We're starting to see a little light at the end of this long tunnel that is the journey of creating the Lamborghini years. I've never been a huge car person, except for minivans, because I love minivans. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't really follow cars a lot growing up or really know anything about cars, but I had a cousin who loved cars and we went to go see the Fast and Furious movie together, one of them, I can't remember which one. And I remember there was this like super long car chase and he's like moving around, sitting forward, just like shuffling. I'm like, what's going on? He's like, I'm so hot. I'm sweating from all of this. It's so intense. He was like so into the movie. He was sweating. And I just started cracking up. I thought it was hilarious. And maybe that does happen to a lot of people, but I just didn't relate, but I thought it was so funny. <laughs> Let's just say it was one steaming hot car chase. What really makes a cake like this challenging is that you do one side so perfectly, so beautifully, so proportionally correct, and then you have to go do the same thing on the other side. At least there's only two sides exactly the same. The front and back are different because creating exactly the same replica when it's so proportionally accurate is a lot of work and exhausting. <laughs> but as I kept creating all those different lines and shapes and carving in and taking out, it was just really starting to create this car in front of my eyes and it was super cool and I was that gave me the energy to keep on going. I'm more of an organic sculptor. I love sculpting organic things that are imperfect. For me, it's more challenging when I have to make a super technical, proportionally accurate, mechanical type sculpture. My brain just has more fun with organic things, embracing the imperfections. I love those. One of my favorite lines from a cake decorator, Maggie Austin, embrace the imperfections. I take that advice with me on all cakes I create. It was a sigh of relief when the sculpting was done and it was time to paint this cake because the painting was a lot easier. The whole cake itself was basically just the same shade of blue all the way around. Easy peasy, I got that. And I had fun painting the headlights and the backlights, the brake lights, going in and using my whites to create the highlights to make them look like the light is actually on and shining. When I first started making cakes, I created this helicopter cake and when it came time to paint the windows, I made them just like solid black and I thought it would look really good, but it actually ended up looking really dull and like fake. And my dad actually pointed out to me that Melissa, windows are not just a solid black, they've got glares on them, they've got light coming through, you've got a silver shine. So when I painted the windows on the Lamborghini, I made sure to give them that glare. I went in with shading with my whites and my grays and my black to create the look of that light shining on it and hitting brightly in one spot, and then it fades out into darkness around. And that way it could actually feel like a potentially actual glass window. So it's a good trick when it comes to painting windows on sculptures of cars. <laughs> now, because this cake did take me a little bit longer than I anticipated, which happens, especially when it's your first time doing like a car, um, I did not have a ton of time left for the tires. And I had to figure out a fast way to create them and still make them look good. Looking back now, I know what I would have done is sculpted one tire by hand and then make a mold of it and then press all the other tires into that mold so I get exactly the same sculpted tire um, for each side and I don't have to spend all that time sculpting all of the tires. But I think in the last final moments, I pulled it together quickly and they looked okay. I used my circle cutters to press them into each of the tires, which gave it some depth and some detailing. And then I just added on the rim on top with some strips of fondant and painted them silver. I made sure to write the gold Lamborghini on the back and I added on that little bowl in the front later. 
And lastly, I added a shine of confectioner's glaze all over the car since it is a metallic car, it's metal, it is going to be shiny. And with that, the Lamborghini Urus was done. This beautiful luxury SUV. I do love, love, love how it looked. The one thing I wish I changed on this cake was just to water down that confectioner's glaze before I paint it onto the cake. I think it made the cake a little bit too shiny, a little bit more toy looking than realistic looking. But besides that, I absolutely love this cake. I was really proud of it. It was really hard to execute. I think it came out really proportionally and accurately correct. There were just a few little things I wish I would have changed or if I had more time fixed up a little bit more. But hey, life isn't perfect, so you gotta embrace the imperfections. <laughs> I'd love to hear what you thought about this Lamborghini cake that I made. And if you'd like to see me make another car cake, no promises here, but what type of car cake would you like to see me create? Comment below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe for a lot of other cool cake and art videos to come. If you wanna see the entire process of me creating this cake from start to finish with no edits, check out my Patreon linked below with a lot of other fun perks. Thank you so much for watching and following along and I'll see you in the next video.